Good evening and welcome to our evening prayer. Can I apologise in advance? I usually apologise in arrears, but apologise in advance. I accidentally left uh, the Radio Link microphone on all day. I think it has enough power to get us through this evening and beyond, but if the sound disappears, I, I apologise in advance. We come to celebrate uh, St Monica. We reflected this morning on her extraordinary role in the life of her son, Augustine, um, and uh, this evening we come to give thanks for that role. He begins the first of the volumes of his confessions by reflecting on his mother. And I wanted, if I may, to quote part of the account which he gave of his mother's uh, last hours and indeed her last words as she was there with St. Augustine, as he was to become, and his brother. His brother suggested that as she was dying far from home, um, that he hoped that she would uh, cling on, as it were, and there would be the opportunity to get her back to home soil. I love the directness of her answer, which I'm sure she didn't intend uh, with any rudeness to her son, but it sums up the clarity of her thought on the subject. She said, what silly talk. Shortly afterwards, addressing us both, she said, lay this body anywhere and take no trouble over it. One thing only do I ask of you, that you remember me at the altar of the Lord, wherever you may be. Having made her meaning clear to us with such words as she could muster, she fell silent and the pain of the disease grew worse. I think we have an awareness that it isn't at the grave that we go to maintain uh, that contact, as it were, with those who've gone before us in faith, but it is indeed to the altar that we come as we celebrate the Eucharist as it's linked to the altar uh, in heaven. So it's appropriate that we do have intentions for those who've gone before us and indeed that we keep them in our prayers this evening. But as I reflected this morning, I think too we should model ourselves more on the example of St. Monica. She spent her prayers and indeed her tears pleading with God that her son should be baptised and that he should live a life of faith. We too, perhaps more often, more earnestly, pray for our brothers and sisters, friends, relations, those we meet, that they will have the privilege and the joy of baptism and Christian uh, faith and life, and that we should continually intercede that the privilege we have should indeed be shared with others. We pray this evening, as we prayed this morning, that we may be inspired by St. Monica and that she might add her prayer to ours. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. For all the saints who from their labours rest, who thee by faith before the world confessed, thy name, O Jesu, be forever blessed. Alleluia, alleluia. Thou wast their rock, their fortress, and their might. Thou, Lord, their captain at the well-fought fight. Thou, in the darkness drear, their one true light. Alleluia, alleluia. O may thy soldiers, faithful, true, and bold, fight as the saints who nobly fought of old, and win with them the victor's crown of gold. Alleluia, alleluia. O blessed communion, fellowship divine, we feebly struggle, they in glory shine. Yet all are one in thee, for all are thine. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord will give victory to his anointed one. May the Lord answer in time of trial. May the name of Jacob's God protect you. May he send you help from his shrine and give you support from Zion. May he remember all your offerings and receive your sacrifice with favor. May he give you your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your plans. May we ring out our joy at your victory and rejoice in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your prayers. I'm sure now that the Lord will give victory to his anointed, will reply from his holy heaven with the mighty victory of his hand. Some trust in chariots or horses, but we in the name of the Lord. They will collapse and fall, but we shall hold firm, hold and stand firm. Give victory to the King, O Lord. Give answer on the day you call. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord will give victory to his anointed one. We shall pray, we shall sing, and praise your power. O Lord, your strength gives joy to the King, how your saving help makes him glad. You have granted him his heart's desire. You have not refused the prayer of his lips. You came to meet him with the blessings of success. You have set on his head a crown of pure gold. He asked you for life, and this you have given, days that will last from age to age. Your saving help has given him glory. You have laid upon him majesty and splendor. You have granted your blessings to him forever. You have made him rejoice with the joy of your presence. The king has put his trust in the Lord. Through the mercy of the Most High, he shall stand firm. O Lord, arise in your strength. We shall sing and praise your power. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We shall sing and praise your power. Lord, you made us a kingdom and priests to serve our God. 
Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. Worthy are you, O Lord, to take the scroll and to open its seals, for you were slain, and by your blood you ransomed men for God from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. You have made us a kingdom and priest to our God, and we shall reign on earth. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, you have made us a kingdom and priests to serve our God. From the letter to the Romans. We know that by turning everything to their good, God cooperates with all those who love him, with all those he's called according to his purpose. They are the ones he chose specially long ago and intended to become true images of his son so that his son might be the eldest of many brothers. He called those he intended for this, those he called, he justified, and with those he justified, he shared his glory. God has chosen her. He chose her before she was born. He brought her to live in his holy dwelling place. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Monica lived in Christ while she was still living in this world. She so lived that the name of God was praised in both her faith and her works. <coughs> my soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Monica lived in Christ even when she, while still living in this world. She so lived that the name of God was praised in both her faith and her work. Through the holy women, let us pray to the Lord for all the needs of his church. Lord, remember your church. Through the women martyrs who overcame death with undying courage, strengthen your church in time of trial. Through the married women who grace the lives of the human family, renew the church in her apostolic mission. Through all the widows who sanctified loneliness with prayer and hospitality, make your church a telling sign of your love for all the world. Through all the mothers who introduce their children to the kingdom of God and true human life in society, may your church bring all to eternal life and salvation. <coughs> Through all the holy women who live in the light of your glory, grant to the faithful departed the everlasting vision of happiness. <coughs> Some 
a request from Nadia, who's been working incredibly hard on the, the church upstairs. She asks us to join her in prayer that as we get closer to the 40th anniversary, that the Lord will give us each the strength and zeal to continue to do his work. We're asked to pray for family members to receive the guidance, the guidance and intervention from St. Monica on this feast day. Anna asks that we might pray for peace in the war-torn countries <coughs> and repose of all the souls who have died during those wars and conflicts. We're asked to, to pray for God's blessing and good health for Zachary. Carol asks that we might pray for the health and well-being of Phoebe. Colette asks that we might pray for Father Anthony Meredith, 65th, 64th anniversary of his ordination yesterday. I was due to pray for the soul of Minnie Melly on this anniversary of her death. We pray for Beatrice, better known as Betty Crosby. For Terry White and for Wendy Sakiro, that they may rest in peace. We pray for all those yet to be baptized, particularly among our family and friends, that they may come to that fulfillment. And we pray for our diocese. We pray that we may indeed be inspired by the word who is life. May all the people of our diocese grow in openness to the power of the Holy Spirit so that through a growth in understanding and courage and truly open your call, we may bear powerful witness to all around us. For you are Lord forever and ever. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, comforter of the sorrowful, you accepted St. Monica's offering of tears for the conversion of her son Augustine. Help us by their intercession to be truly contrite for our sin so that we may receive the grace of your forgiveness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank you. And may the Lord grant us a quiet night and a perfect end.
Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Pius, pray for us. St. Edward, pray for us. St. Monica, pray for us. All holy men and women, pray for us. 